The following question is about the complete oxidation of ethanol. Uh, so the question states that you have 2.3 grams of ethanol. So the mass of ethanol that is involved in the reaction is given. So you have 2.3 grams of ethanol and was mixed with an aqu uh, excess of aqueous acidified potassium dichromate. Potassium dichromate is the oxidizing agent that's going to oxidize ethanol. The reaction mixture was then boiled under reflux for one hour, which means that the reaction has completed and all the ethanol has been oxidized. So the first part is uh, we have ethanol, which is uh, CH3, CH2, and OH. So if you oxidize it with potassium dichromate 6, the product that would be produced is going to be a carboxylic acid, ethanoic acid. So ethanol gets oxidized to ethanoic acid. So, and all the ethanol is going to get oxidized to ethanoic acid. And the ratio in which uh, the two are reacting and uh, the products are being produced is one ratio one. So if you have one mole of ethanol, then one mole of ethanoic acid would be produced. So the ratio, it's pretty obvious one ethanol produces one ethanoic acid. Now the desired organic product was then collected by distillation and the yield of the product was 60%. So we're going to, we're going to come to this part later. Now starting with this first part, which is 2.3 grams of ethanol. I'm first going to try and figure out how many moles of ethanol do I have. So if I have 2.3 grams, the moles of ethanol, moles would be mass divided by the MR. And the MR of ethanol, if you add all the carbons and hydrogens and oxygens, the, the ARs, if you add them up, it's going to come out to be equal to 46. So using my calculator, 2.3 divided by 46 gives me 0 0.05 moles. Now the ratio in which uh, ethanol and ethanoic acid uh, react and are produced is one ratio one. One ethanol produces one ethanoic acid. So 0 0.05 moles of ethanol are going to produce exactly the same amount. So the amount of ethanoic acid that would be produced is going to be 0 0.05 moles. So that's the amount of ethanoic acid that would be produced. And since he's asking for the mass of product that would be formed or collected, so we can find mass as mass would be equal to moles, which in this case, the moles are 0 0.05 multiplied by the MR. And we can calculate the MR, it's the two carbons, so that's 12 plus 12, that's 24, plus there are two oxygens, so that's 16 plus 16, which is 32, plus you have four hydrogens. So that would be approximately equal to 60. And if you multiply this, uh, multiply this using your calculator, the answer would be equal to three grams. But we need to uh, uh, solve this last part. What he's saying is that the yield of the product was 60%, which basically means if it was 100%, then theoretically three grams of uh, ethanoic acid should be produced but since the yield is 60 percent so the formula of yield was yield was actual or experimental over the theoretical value into 100 now he's given us that the yield is 60 percent now we don't know what the actual value is but we have calculated the theoretical value which comes out to be three grams. Theoretical value is the value that you get using your calculator without performing any reaction. So in theory, you're getting three grams. So I've uh, put the theoretical value over there in the formula, and I'm going to multiply that by 100. And I'm going to make uh, the actual value the subject of the equation, and this would give me, it's going to be 60 over 100 into three, which would be equal to 1.8 zero grams so option option c would be correct so remember one thing if somebody uh, talks about yield being 60 percent then whatever the theoretical value that you're getting uh, your final answer your actual value would be 60 percent of that value so it's 60 percent of three grams or you can use this formula of yield to find the answer so the final answer is 1.8 grams it's not three grams